Now it's time for Mr. Fix-It, powered by your Chicagoland and Northwest Indiana Chevy dealers. Oh, right. You really are in a good mood this morning. You've been, people don't even know you've been dancing off oh, camera. Yeah, it's unbelievable. It if we just had some pon-pons, we'd really be mm -hmm. going to town. All right, what do we got? I have some really smart solutions for your home that I think will um, you're going to really like. I'm going to come around here. Stay okay. right there. Um, this is the first one. You know everything you have to plug in at your house yes. with the phones, it drives you crazy and you don't have enough stuff. So this is a very affordable swivel power pack. Now you can plug this in to the outlet in your kitchen yeah. and this thing swivels so you can either do it like this or you can do it like this. Oh. Now look, six different outlets that you can plug things into, three USBs on the front. Ooh. Now I'm not a huge fan of all the wires hanging out yeah. all over God's creation. However, until you come up with a more suitable solution this thing's 20 bucks can't beat it that's it's a good really one, a good one finally you're bringing some all right stuff. this is a good one here um when you're going to have graduation parties and yes. stuff, I want you to consider buying these ball aluminum kit cups. Have you used these yet? Oh, they look like uh, solo cups, but they're... Right, but here's the oh. thing. 65% um, of all the aluminum that is created is recycled. Plastic, those solo cups, less than 7%. Hmm. And you put a drink inside one of these cups, it stays so cold. Yeah, it does. The plastic cups, it does. Right. No one this likes a warm stuff beer. from Ball, they come in different sizes, yeah. and they come in 12 packs. A 12 pack like this, I think, is $24. They cost more. But you can recycle this, and quite frankly, you know what we do? We wash them. Yeah. And we reuse them, because that's a sturdy that's a good cup. Idea, right? Lou. Um, in your garage, now I'm going to come back over here. Yeah. In your garage uh, or in the basement, it's dark and you don't get enough light. You may have seen these uh, lights on Instagram. They, they were doing it. Now legit companies have them. This is a light bulb that you fan out, okay, and you put in your garage and you rotate these bad boys, it's the equivalent of 400 watts of electricity, okay? And it is so bright, and you can adjust where the light goes by angling this. Look at that. And you put this on, it's not a fan, it's a light. It is so bright that when you come into the garage and fire up that switch, you're gonna be like, oh my gosh, that's How what I look that? like? This is 40 bucks. Worth it. It's totally okay. worth it. And That's then good. this is for how many dogs do you have here? I know Morgan's got a dog, right? I think everyone's Anyone else got you one. have a dog? Yeah, I do. The last thing you want to do is get your dog skunked. This is in, was invented by a bunch of high school kids about four years ago who are now graduating from college. Oh boy. It is a product called Skunk Aid, and you're gonna buy this and you're gonna keep it. Here's the thing that happens when your dog gets skunked. You immediately go to soap and water. The oil that comes from a skunk gets embedded into their fur, and now you can't get rid of it. This is a two-part dry solution, so you buy one of these and you're, in a perfect world, you never have to use right. it, but if you do, never let the dog inside the house. What's in there? It's like all natural ingredients. It's and a it lot works. of baking, and it works amazingly well. When these kids in Invented it. A week later, they sent me a sample. Our dog, uh, our now deceased dog, got skunked. I did it. It was unbelievable. Really? The trick with any of this is don't put them in the house. Don't ever let them in the house. Because if they get skunked and come into your house, forget it. Mm. Do this outside. 20 bucks, buy it, get it ready, keep it in stock. And as you're walking around, just every in case. Now and then you have some good ideas, well, Lou. I got to give was it to one you. Of those you brought every it now today. And then. But, you brought but my it today. A game today. Uh, okay, watch this. Yeah. I uh, Misericordia has their candy days. If you notice, I yeah, always and wear Misericordia. Yeah, I don't see any candy here. I know it's my fault. Mm -hmm. I have a virtual candy jar that's virtual. going up at WGNRadio.com. If you'd like to make a donation, I've got some sponsors who are going to match some things oh, as good. well. So we're trying to raise a lot of money. They're doing it all virtually because of COVID. Yeah. They have 600 adults and children with developmental disabilities in their home and throughout communities. So if you can support it, that would be great. Larry, I might need you, Larry to write a big doesn't check. Doesn't mean you couldn't bring a bag of candy. I know, I'll just bring saying. the candy. I'll bring it. It's uh, my there's fault. where you can find Lou. You know where to find it. <laughs> Thanks, Lou. Good to see, see you. Ya. Hey, Morgan. Hey, you guys. Let's check back.